Christmas so they can go spend it with their families and stuff like that. But like, it's very like a traditional thing in England where like all the football's on during the Christmas like, and it's really like just a festive season of football like. So it brings a lot of people around the pubs and brings a lot of uh, telev- television around as well like something during the Christmas because during the Christmas is kind of like your soaps and your uh, Christmas movies and stuff like that. So it gives you something a bit different. But the in- the interest break I think should have been done in went in december like during the christmas time during new year's where like they could spend it with their families and friends and stuff like that like letting them because some uh, footballers would have like so i think david de Gea is it david de Gea? i think his family they all live in spain and he lives in england like and like why can't he just go home for christmas and spend it with them and be with, like a lot of players do that like that. a lot of their families don't move from where they're from they live where they are and then they just send them money back and forth back and forth like fair enough like whatever that's the way they want to do it. that's the way they want to do it. it's not gonna not gonna say anything about that like um i see it, uh all the answer players now are kind of speaking up against emery because emery came out there and did an interview about why he thinks he got sacked and this and that and, all. and i was just, i'm just like let it go like just get on with it like it's over now he's out of the club he's done he's finished i say the next club he will go to be like rather he'll go to spain china once like the whole like the uh, coronavirus and stuff like that's all dealt with or whatever i think he go. he might go to turkey like i just don't see anywhere else where he can go now i think doing them interviews is kind of like now you don't want to be like like you don't really now want a manager out there now and be like oh do you really want to do we really want him now because look what he said about Arsenal, this and that and all, like, so, uh, I don't know, like, that's the thing, like, you don't want to be, you don't, no one might not take a chance on him anymore, like, a lot of the problem was there in Arsenal, Arsenal was, like, I don't think any of the real, like, players respected him, no one really understood him, they kept making fun of him as well, which is kind of not, not a nice thing to do, and now you have, like, Mustafi now putting out a few tweets, apparently making a little slide dig, but I don't think so, it's a bit, like, uh yeah, you get it's whatever way you want to portray it, whatever. But um, and then apparently Oz just came out as well about talking about like what's the difference on playing more. It's like I still don't think he's good enough though. I just still don't think he's he's like I think he's. How could you have a player who hasn't had no? He's a midfielder, a creative midfielder. His job is to create goals and score goals as well. He doesn't score enough goals. He doesn't take enough shots. He hasn't set up an away goal in. In a year, he hasn't set up an away goal, and he can't play in away games. Like, how do you have a player? How could you have a pl- person in your team who can't go away and play away from home? Like, that's absolutely ridiculous. And he's on, tr- he's on the three hundred fifty thousand a week, and he cannot, and he can't do it, and he can't play away from home. He can't play away from the Emirates. Like, that makes no bloody s- like. How does that make sense? And then. We can't get rid of him because he's on so much money. And now there's links of Aaron Ramsey coming back. And it's like, well, he's going to want more money as well. Because he's on an absolute fortune with um, Juventus at the moment. So he's going to ask for more money as well. So, like, what are we going to do? Like, we can't... I'd love to have Aaron Ramsey back. I think that'd be an absolutely brilliant uh, signing to have back and make him captain. And I know he's at, what, I'd rather him than Ozil. 100% I'd rather him than Ozil. Like, I just don't rate Ozil anymore. I just... I just think we get rid of him, but we can't get rid of him, which is so annoying. And like you see, like you see, Xhaka, he's absolutely incredible. He's actually been really, really, really good. Now he's improved. So Mustafi, yes, he had that mistake at um, Chelsea, but since then he's been really, really good. He's been really, really focused down, buckled down. He looks like he's really focused again. Um, I think Saka unbelievable for a 19 year old to be able to be thrown into the left back position and just been playing unbelievable Martinelli unbelievable Lacazette like Lacazette another one can't score no, he'll score an away goal in a year like that's that's madness mad but I really think he will get his confidence back I really think he'll get his um, mojo he'll be back he just needs one goal that's all he needs is a striker just one goal just get that one goal and you'd be back on top again. I remember like playing that um, when I was younger. Like you just, you just need that one goal. Once you get that one goal of confidence, that's it. You'll be back and ready to go again. You'll be back scoring a goal. You want the ball more. You want to be playing way. I think it's just the style now we're playing now. He's kind of more of a hold up play, and I think that he'd be great. I think if you put a buying and gang like as a kind of like like a four four two, but it. it it's not our type of style, but we're not. But the way we're playing now is unbelievable. But now we can't score goals, though. We went from 
couldn't defend to save our lives to now being able to defend ourselves not get the ball taken away from us and now we are actually defending well getting the uh, getting the ball away passing it really well out the back now but we just can't score the goals now and once we get the goals going again I think then we're going to be absolutely amazing and we're going to challenge for next year if we get the right players in the right attitude and all everyone else is just teaming together now because a lot of players are coming out now saying that the dressing room was absolutely awful and no one talked to each other no one wanted to be around each other outside of the training ground which I think is madness like I think you should all be able to work together and be able to be together and work like work out like you do an extra work like what was it say if Martinelli goes to Bamiyang look I really want to work finish on my shooting and all can you help me out yeah of course he will and doing extra drills after training or or going off to a gym or something like that and doing their own training somewhere else and getting them pushing each other like that's what you really need to do with a team spirit like you can see with Liverpool as well like they have such a great team spirit I think once you get that team spirit correctly like look at um Leicester, once they, they had their a great team spirit when they won the league, everyone wanted to play with each other, everyone wanted to die for the ball, die for their team, die for the players around them, like it was just that, that's what you wanted in the team, and you could clearly see it with Arsenal once in a while, you, they all didn't want Emery, they all wanted Emery to go, they all didn't want to be with him anymore, and you could see it just on the pitch, like where like you're just like, nah, they don't want to play for him anymore, this is just kind of sad really, just seeing him do this, if that was him, I would have just walked out, but... He doesn't want to get that big juicy check by getting sacked. Like he probably got paid. He probably got paid. He got paid like five million or something because because he got sacked like five million now. They have to pay him to leave the club. So he's getting paid now by sitting sitting down somewhere to beat somewhere with getting paid five million. Like that is unbelievable pay. Like five million for getting kicked out of your job. I love that. If I ever got fired from a job and they gave me five million, like Jesus, I'd be laughing. You want to get fired all the time then? Like if you get five million. Um, but I just hope now Arsenal really, really do get. I just really want to see Arsenal do well now. This is actually hurting me now not seeing Arsenal. I might be going to see Arsenal now in the end of the month, so that'll be my first time ever going to the Emirates, and that's going to be a that's going to be a very good experience. Last time I went to see Arsenal play was in the Aviva, and that was two years ago. It was Emery's first time in charge, and one player that stood out for me there at that time was uh, Hudson Odoi. For Chelsea, he was unbelievable. I was like, "Geez, he's a really good player." Who's seen? He was only was he eighteen at the time when he did when he was at when he was at that game. So, uh, him like, oh wow, like he was such a good player, and I can't wait. I've only been to the Emirates as like doing the the, the tour or tour 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 tour. That's the only time I've ever been around the Emirates. I'm so great, and I was just like, "Wow, I can't wait one day I come here when it's just gonna be packed out with a load of fans," and I really really hope I get to go see a game. Uh, and I hope we actually get to win a trophy this year. Like even I think we should really go for the Europa League. I think that should be our main priority now. I think get going now. We have to start scoring goals now. See Bert Leno came out saying like now our strikers. We we fixed our defense now. We just have to get our strikers on board now. But we've been missing um, a Banya Yang from suspension, and Lacazette just hasn't scoring the goals. So I think now. A bang yang's back now. Uh, this big break that we have, I think, might recharge the batteries now. We're playing Newcastle next week, so I'll be do I'll do a little review on that. See where I stand and all. Um, what else? Oh. Du, 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 du. Yeah, so I'll be doing doing a review on that. Uh, for the next UFC event, next big card, like I'll do another review that give you a few pointers who to put your bet money on, and uh, who I think is going to win. A bit more of a preview about that as well. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for listening to me today, and I hope I see you all tomorrow. Bye bye.